Who was Phyllis Wheatley? Phyllis Wheatley was the first notable African-American woman poet. Although the exact date is unknown, she was born about 1753 in West Africa. After being kidnapped and brought on a slave ship to Boston, she was purchased by John and Susanna Wheatley as a personal servant in 1761. The Wheatleys saw her aptitude for learning and taught her to read and write. After mastering English in less than two years, Phyllis Wheatley turned to learning Greek and Latin as well as writing poetry. Her first poem, called On Messrs. Hussey and Coffin, appeared in print in 1767. Three years later, she gained fame in the American colonies and abroad with an elegy to George Whitefield, a popular preacher. By the time she was about 18, Wheatley had produced a collection of 28 poems covering themes including morality, piety, and freedom. However, no American publisher was willing to print the work of an enslaved person. The Wheatley sent her to London, where her first book, Poems on Various Subjects, Religious and Moral, was published in 1773. It was the first book by an enslaved African American to be published. Soon afterward, she returned to Boston and was manumitted by Susanna Wheatley, who had fallen ill. Although Phyllis Wheatley continued to write, few publishers were willing to take her work and she was unable to support herself with her poems. Phyllis Wheatley died on December 5, 1784. Her contributions to American literature highlighted the importance and benefit of educational opportunities for African Americans, helping to further the abolition movement.